Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. This is Starseed788. And Marley. He was right there, but wanted to come right here. As soon as I was going to switch on the phone to record for you guys. So, hello, my beautiful, beautiful souls. I am here today to share with you some positive, positive energy. Because I know all of us re need it right now. It's been a hell of a few months and I want to share some good vibrations with all of you. I know some of you are experiencing sleepless nights and also a lot of you might be experiencing waking up not so... Um, not experiencing great mornings. Because it's expected right now with all the shifts with the planets. So I really wanted to focus on good vibrations, positive energy. I wanted to connect with the universe and connect with you all to see what is being released from our loads right now. What is helping us to finally release what needs to be released and what are we releasing what's being taken away for for us to actually actually see the results of all our hard work so let's see I actually want to use another deck for now. I'll use the Romance Angels deck. Universe. I just heard you have nothing to worry about. Whatever you're worrying about, especially like... When you wake up, stop worrying. There's nothing to worry about. Universe, what is being released right now from our lives? What is being released collectively to help us see the results of our hard work? How are you helping us? To lessen the load. Thank you. What is being released from the collective's energy, please, and lives? <laughs> Whoa. Religious factors and separation. This is fucking amazing. Wow. So what I'm getting right now with these cards, which I've never gotten before. I don't think that I did. No, I don't think I have. We have been feeling not ourselves. In the past, we have been feeling like we don't belong. Like this is not home. Like whatever we do is never enough. There's something missing. And this brought a separation from us and within us. It's like we didn't understand ourselves. We didn't know ourselves. We got lost in all the confusion and all the noise and all the pain. And building castles in the sky in illusions. But finding our spirituality is what's bringing us back home home and what I'm getting with this card is all the differences that we see in each other that's being released now all the things that we used to feel about ourselves that made us feel like we don't fit in like we don't belong that's moving away we're not the whole collective 
is moving away from feeling separated from anyone or anything. We are all becoming one. We are all realizing that you are connected to me. I am connected to you. We're connected to everything around us. Your pain is my pain. My happiness is your happiness. No more separations. No more... Even in the physical world, we are being healed from separations. The collective is finally learning because of the awakenings that are happening, the ascensions that are happening. We are understanding now that there can be a way to fix things. Not always to run or to blame people or give up on situations. It's knowing to just put up boundaries, respect each other, and understand each other, respect each other. And separation will not be needed. When it comes to relationships, when it comes to families, when it comes to friendships, any type of connection... It's like, let's say, though this is just an example, but even when people nowadays are going to get married, in the back of their head, they're like, oh, but there's divorce. If something happens, there's divorce. You are you're already preparing yourself for things to go bad, even though maybe you don't believe that it will happen in your relationship, in your marriage, but divorce is still in the back of your head. And that's accepting that, yeah, you might fail. <laughs> Same with separation. We are moving away from that now. We are all in for everything. All in. No more separation. No more feeling left out. And this card is sliding off. I'm going to take it. Oh, abundance. Yep. Look at this, guys. Do you see the colors? All flowers are different. They're still flowers. All flowers grow differently, have different colors, have different names. We still call them flowers. We'll still see them the same way. And they're still being watered with this. I'm sorry. <clears throat> they're still being... They're still growing from the same sun, from the same water. It's all connected, it's all one. Even if one flower is in Germany and one flower is in Alaska, if there is any flowers there, it's still the same water, it's still the same sun. Because we are all connected and this is what <laughs> this is what we are coming to realize in the next few months, in the next few years. And a lot of us have already been accepting this and understanding this. What is being released, please, from our energies? What is being released from our energies, please? We have, yeah, engagement and chemistry. Wow. And you know, guys, I'm not re reading this in a romantic way, okay? I'm just using these cards because I was really drawn to use these cards. Because in every deck... There's a message that the universe wants me to pick up on. And maybe if they give it to me through a thought, I would maybe um, disregard it. So if I see a card, I know exactly what I need to talk about and what you need to hear today. And, <coughs> excuse me guys. With engagement, oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I've been having some trouble with my throat chakra. With engagement and chemistry, what I'm getting is, so engagement shows commitment. You're finally deciding to make this huge commitment to someone. But instead, today, I am seeing these cards as you are finally, all of you, deciding to be committed, to be devoted to taking that next step when it comes to your manifestations, when it comes to your abundance, when it comes to your gifts, to your desires, you are ready now to 
attract what is yours. So what is being released is the in and the out. The wishy, the washy. The procrastination of wanting something but not actually being all in to receive something, to manifest something. Look at these two. They're creating magic together. See the man as the universe. And this is you. You are learning. The universe is teaching you how to create your desires. How to actually put yourself in the vibration of your desires. Because guys, what you have to realize is that when we say you have to create your life, you create your desires. Sometimes that is taken out of context because the reality is everything's already created. So it's not like it's a big deal. It's not that hard to actually get what you want because creating seems like a huge deal. Like there's a lot of hard work to get the abundance and the desires that you have been craving. But what it's about is what you desire is here. And you are right here. Now, when you align your vibration and your frequency to it, it's yours. But it's already been created. It's already there. It's already in existent. If it's in existence, if it's a person, if it's a job, if it's a holiday, a vacation, if it's whatever. It's already been created. It's just you getting to it. Not it getting to you, but you getting to it. You getting on the same frequency and vibration as your desire and the universe right now is teaching you how to get there how to raise your vibration how to raise your frequency how to believe in your manifestations in your creativity and how to be self-confident also because I'm, i am seeing the red hood here and sometimes I see hoods as covering up, hiding in some way. And it's like they're teaching you the, the first steps to show you how capable you are. And that will slowly take off the hood. You will slowly emerge and be more confident, be more engaged in what you're doing. Be more attentive, be more creative, be more devoted, committed and willing. Your willpower will be so on point. And what you will learn also is that it's always been like this. You have always been capable. You have always had these powers. You are just not sure. Look at her face. I hope you can see her face. She's like, I wait, I can actually do this? Am I doing this? You see her face? Yeah, and the universe is telling you, yeah, you actually can. They're showing you how powerful you are, how creative you are, and they want to make magic with you. The universe wants to make magic with you, and what they're helping you to release is doubt, is fear, stigmas, programmings. The difference is in all of us. No, because she's that. No, because he's that. No, I won't fit there. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'll put this in the reading. No, I can't say that because... No, I can't say this. No, I better not say this. It's all fear. Every time when I'm having throat chakra problem problems, when I'm doing a reading, it's all fear, guys. Fear of expression, fear of communicating, fear of taking off those hoods and showing the world and ourselves who we truly are. Sometimes we act as if we love ourselves, we act as if we believe in ourselves. <coughs> Excuse me again. But there is still low self-esteem, doubt, fear. And guys, even if you don't show it, energetically it is felt with anyone you're talking to. 
even if they believe what you're saying and what you're showing, energetically they will feel the lack. They will feel that there's something missing in what you're projecting. And that's what keeps happening. That's what keeps happening in all of us. But once we are self-confident and once we love ourselves and believe in ourselves, it will show. And that's when you start seeing a lot of changes in your life. So, let's see. What is changing for the collective? <clears throat> What's coming in for all the collective? What's coming in for all the collective? What is shifting right now? For all the collective with these elements being released from our lives, from our energies. I, I heard devotion and love. Yeah, a love for everything you do, a love for everyone, a love for what you create, doing everything out of love. Even if you're just cooking or doing your hair or just spending time with yourself or friends or your pets or your family. Now it's all going to be through love and not through expectations or boredom or whatever the reason was before. What is currently shifting? Okay, let's see. We have community. <laughs> Delight. Oh my God. Inner peace. Tell me guys. Isn't this all what we truly want? Yeah. That's what we truly want. And that's what we truly have right now. This is what you have to believe in. Everyone that you are being surrounded with right now. They are there to help you along your journey. Bad, good, doesn't matter. They are there because you decided to put them there. When you made your contracts before entering this life. And they are doing what you asked of them. So do not hate them. Do not blame them. Do not judge them. Because they are doing exactly what you need. For you to heal, for you to grow, for you to come to this rainbow, to come to this freedom, to come to this abundance, to this joy. And this card <clears throat> is also reminding me of people who hide themselves from who they are. Guys, love has no gender. Whoever you love... You can express it. Whoever you are attracted to, you can express it. Show the world who you truly are. If you're a girl who likes girls, so what? Go for it. If you're a guy who likes guys, go for it. If you want to change your body because you feel like your body doesn't fit who you are, change it. If you want to dress differently, Dress differently, but never do it to fit in. Do it for you. Do what feels right, what feels like home for you. And that's when you find your community. That's when you find your soul tribe. That's when you find yourself. It's because you show devotion. You show commitment to yourself. Again, guys, devotion no more separation between, not between, no more separation in yourself. Whatever your situation is, be with you, love you, and love whoever you freaking want to. Do not worry about judgment. Step right in. I love when I see the rainbow colors. 
It really brings joy to my heart. Because everybody deserves to express their truth. Whatever your truth is, express it. And talk about it. And show it. That's it. That's what's going to bring in happiness. Joy. Inner peace. And guys, it might seem like, whatever your situation is, it might seem like, when you take a certain step in your life, that people are going to just fall out of your life and you will not find help. But once you take that step, even if you have backlash because of certain things that you do in your life, <laughs> when you take risks, when you take actions, that you think, that you feel that you have to, but you think, no, I'm not going to be accepted or this is going to happen or things are going to get worse. Once you take that step, you're going to find help. You're going to find people who are going through the same things as you are. And maybe they're not, but they're going to be there for you. But you never know. Even here we have two. You are not alone. It's not about fitting in the crowd. It's about being who you are and attracting the right people to yourself, to your life. Make your own crowd. You don't need to fit into anybody else, into anybody, into anybody else's crowd. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're feeling alone or misunderstood. That's an illusion. Because your guides, your ancestors, your loved ones are always with you. Always. There's always your higher self. You might feel alone, but you're not alone. You're not. You might think, oh, look at all these beautiful white birds. Why, why did I have to be brown? Why did I have to be, you know, I can't fit in. Why do you want to fit in? Maybe they're looking at you and they wish they were brown. They wish they were not like all of these white birds. You don't know that. So spread your wings and fly. And look at this. It's just like the card here. It's about growth. It's about blossoming. It's about loving yourself. Wow. This reading, I understand now why they wanted me to pull from the Romans Angels deck. Because it was not about Romans, but it was about self love. This whole reading is about self love. And guys, when we love ourselves, that's when we actually start to accept and love and understand everybody else. Everything else. And we have the water element here which shows emotions. Dealing with our emotions. The more we deal with our emotions and not run away from them. <coughs> Excuse me guys. the more that we <clears throat> free ourselves from fear the more we find inner peace the more we find our place our community the more that we integrate with different types of people do things that we've never thought we would experience because we open up we believe that we can do anything, so we try new things. And we actually achieve new things. We grow, we learn, we heal. And that's how we attract happiness, love, abundance, but most of all, healing. And we love ourselves more and more and more. So I'm going to pull one more card just to get some affirmations. <clears throat> What do we need to be grateful for right now, please? What does the collective need to be grateful for right now, please? Let's see. Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Guys, do you remember the vision that I talked to you about? When I saw a whole field of sunflowers and everybody just bloomed. All the sunflowers bloomed after an energy of good vibrations hit them. Everyone awakened. Please go check that out if you haven't seen it. Purification is the whole freaking collective awakening. Seeing the light. And you know guys, sunflowers, they follow the sun. And what do we do? We follow the light. We follow source. We follow our intuition because our souls are being called home right now. But the beautiful thing is that we're bringing home right here. That isn't that longing. Whoa, there isn't that separation anymore between the cosmos and the earth. You know, it's like the higher realms and the earth. Everything, everything is being integrated into one. We are not longing for home anymore. Because we are bringing home right here. Right here. That's what we are realizing. Oh my god. I have so many chills right now. Even Marley. <laughs> Look at him. Purification. Okay. So let's say the affirmation, guys. I am grateful for joy. I am grateful for inner peace. I am grateful that I love myself. I am grateful that I see the beauty in myself, in other people, in life. I am grateful to not be a follower, but a leader. I am grateful for a source. I am grateful for the light. I am grateful that I express my truths and I live my truths. I am grateful that my truth has set me free and that my truth is setting others free. I am grateful for the collective's awakening. I am grateful for change. I am grateful for power. I am grateful for happiness. I am grateful for all the pure things in life. And I am grateful for you. <laughs> so I hope this message helps you guys. I hope this resonates. I love you all so very much. Thank you for being here. I love you. Take care. And namaste.